15 hours away from a joint session of Congress where members will vote to certify President-elect Joe Biden's win. Normally, this would be a simple formality, but not this year. There's disinformation circulating as to how the certification works. And here's Tyler Paley live after researching all about the process. Tyler, the president tweeted today the VP Mike Pence can throw out, quote, fraudulently, fraudulently chosen electors tomorrow. Is that true? No, Dan, it's actually false for several reasons. First, the vice president actually doesn't have a say in tomorrow's proceedings. His presence is essentially just ceremonious. Also, none of the electors were chosen fraudulently. Take a look at this tweet from the president of the United States today. Now, the only way electors can be changed is by Congress, and that's if that's only if both the House and the Senate agree, which is said to be unlikely at best, Dan. Tyler, okay, still we have to go in tomorrow expecting a group of Republican House and Senate members to object to the Electoral College votes. Do we know what our local elected officials are planning to do in here? We do know some of their intentions. For the Democrats, Senator Sherrod Brown and Congresswoman Marcy Kaptur saying the objection from Republicans is a betrayal of their oaths of office. Kaptur sent me this statement saying in part, quote, Congress has no role in determining the outcome of a presidential election. Its only responsibility is to affirm the result as determined by American voters. And Brown says, quote, it's unconscionable that Republican lawmakers are actively threatening the integrity of our election process by dealing in unfounded conspiracy and refusing yet again to stand up to the president. Now, Republican Senator Rob Portman says he will not object to the results tomorrow. And we did reach out several times to Republican Congressman Bob Latta's office to see what he plans to do. His office did not respond, Dan. All right, so Tyler, when the Electoral College is certified tomorrow, what happens next? Well, at that point, it would just be a matter of two weeks' time until Joe Biden and Kamala Harris are ultimately inaugurated at noon on January 20th, Dan. Tyler, earlier tonight, Mike Pence told President Trump he, the vice president, did not have the power to change the election results. So hopefully it gets sorted out very soon. Tyler Paley, thank you. Have a good night. Well, a defiant